Hi everyone, this is Alex from Erler Robotics and I am going to explain how to use Erler ROS packages to control status LEDs, the buzzer and PWM signals. First of all, we need to check we are connected with Erler Brain. Okay. Then we need to establish an SSH connection through Erler Brain. SSH connection with our brain. Then we need to launch ROS Core, but we want to access from another machine. We need to configure two environment variables. First of all is ROS Master URI for ROS Master URI Then ROS IP, and then we launch ROS Core. First of all, we are, we are going to control status to LED. We need to open another terminal and run the driver that control the LED of our brain. Be sure you have all the environment variables to run your ROS packages. With this line, you could do it. Well, now, ROS run, ROS early, status led, and now we launch the driver. That we call the main. Now we open another terminal to access to this driver. Captain workspace never shut up. Bash. Cross run, cross and stop left. And now we are going to use the writer. Right there. Now the two LEDs are off. Now we are going to, to turn off one of the, LED, the lights and turn off another one. As you can see here, we have a problem. We need to configure ROS Master URI and ROS IP. For ROS Master URI, CDP. And now ROS IP. Now if we launch the writer, we see it, that uh, we receive the package in the in the driver, and now the light is is on. We would like the two light turn on. We put one one, and if we would like to turn off the other two light, we put oh oh. Okay, we got it. Now we are going to check the buffer. We need to launch the driver for the buffer. ROS RAM, ROS Erle, buffer, and launch the main. ROS Erle, buffer main. Now in our machine, we run ROS early buzzer, ROS early buzzer writer, and this program accept the tune, for example, zero.
if we change the tune, for example, three. Or, for example, seven. Okay, we have checked this uh, works uh, fine. Now we are going to control the PWM signals. Uh, we need to run the driver ROS run ROS early PWM ROS early PWM main. Now uh, this this program has set the the first eight PWM output of our brain, and well, we have connected a servo in the first channel, and we would like to to change the status. We start with uh, five thousand, and then we put the other seven PWX signal to zero. Zero, 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 zero. zero. Okay. As you can see, the servo changed, and well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.